they listen to. And I'm here to show you um the other things I got from Ryan. Ryan. Um, these are um, figures, not masks. I kind of wanted to do it separate. Um, so here is the first figure. Well, I'm just going to show you. Jeff, okay. Yeah, Jeff the Killer, guys. I mean, he's made into a figure. And this is my, um, it's Jeff right here. It's awesome, too. I'll oh, make me, um, a bigger version of Jeff soon. This is a three three quarter inch, not three four quarter inch. He's all bloody and crap. Just awesome. I do like the face on. <coughs> I like how Jeff looks right here. Okay, then he made Jane. Now, um, Jane kind of has some you notice by the side. She does have some pretty big hooters and yeah, she got a tight but <laughs> okay, that's funny. Um, she does come off a knife. Um, he included this little pocket thing, like she can put her knife in there, and that's how I display her. Pretty much, I display her with the thing in there. I'll show you. This is creepy pasta stuff that I got from him. He threw it in there. Um, okay, here's the last creepy pasta thing I got from him. You ready? Probably a lot of people like this guy. He's probably the big one. He's probably the big outtake in Creepy Costa. There's Slender Man. So, uh, I guess three three quarter, three quarter, three to four quarter inch figure, but. I think it's kind of, I guess, a little bit taller because this is what he looks like compared to Jeff. It's pretty awesome, right? Okay, here's the big figure I got from him. Probably the main figure. Because these were extras. These are in, and I actually like these extras. <coughs> Jason. I got Jason. Part 8 Jason. So I finally got a Part 8 Jason. Here's um, Julius's head. He put in with it. Cute crap. Here's the spear. Here's the wrench. The axe. And the guitar that he bashes. The rocker chick with. Oh, yeah, and he does have a machete. I threw in the machete for a reason. He doesn't even use a machete in the movie, but I, I wanted one. So I told him to get it, make a machete for him. Okay. And the mask is removable. Um, there's Chase. Pretty cool figure, if you ask me. There's the hockey mask. It is, um, yellowish and um he does have a lot of articulation but some of the articulation was taken out like he can bend right here and then he can turn right here and his wrist can still turn but this one this one's hard to do I don't want to break him like I did Slender Man because um I had to glue Slender Man back on because um Slender Man's arm was broken as you can see that little line right there. I don't wanna touch his arm. Cause that glue I have on sucks. That will do until I get some super glue. You ask me. It works pretty well. So um yes, thanks again for the ton of masks. Thank you.
I really do love these figures. The figures are awesome. So here's all the things I got. Okay. Jason. Slenderman. Slenderman actually does look. Oops. Slenderman looks pretty tight. Um, I'm making a Slenderman figure. He's still in the works with. I'm making him out of a wooden doll. It's a wooden like posable thing. It's like real posable. Um, Jeff. And James. Let me cover the next side, Chase. Um, so that's about it. Um, thanks again, Ryan, for all the cool figures and masks. So that's about it. Um, subscribe to Ryan. Subscribe to Ghost Space Kid 101, actually. This is channel name. And subscribe to me. And subscribe. Try to subscribe to, um, Doodlebugs014. Um, yeah. So, um, that's about it. And, um, I haven't got any progress with Leslie Vernon mask yet. Um, all I need to do with this, um, the burnt one is this one right here to add hair and the other one has to be repainted fully because um there's a big old white mark at the bottom of this chin. So that's about it. So uh.